Hello guys, my name is Pratik and today we'll have a short discussion about volatile keywords. So before we proceed, uh, let me tell you what actually it is. So volatile keyword is nothing but it's a qualifier and we can uh, you know use it in front of any kind of variables, any kind of functions, whatever you want. So it's basically uh, it has nothing to do with the storage classes uh, you can use it in front of any kind of static or auto register variable doesn't matter so basically it's like uh, we'll, we'll see it here I have visual studio and I have written some two sample programs for it so we'll discuss it one by one uh, let's have a look here first Okay. Uh, okay. Before I proceed, I'll also tell you that volatile keyword uh, is mostly required uh, when your program is optimized, and uh, in cases like uh, multi-threaded programming environment or when you are dealing with some embedded systems, you know, or I would say when the memory share among some external hardware or ports of a microcontroller or something like that. So, like a microcontroller or some port is trying to access some memory location and it's trying to update it. And in that case, actually, we need volatile keyword. So, for example, if you see here, this is uh, just a simple software I've written, but there's no hardware here. So, I just really can't show you the timer updated, updating timer. Okay, so. <clears throat> Uh, I have declared one variable int var and then in the main program I am trying to uh, print some message and the condition is while do it do it while the message is either you know uh, smaller or equal to 10 uh, and then then stop the message printing so the message will be print uh, it will print the message for the first time because it will do while loop so for the very first time it will print it and then it will check for the condition and the condition is nothing but it's a function timer i'm just directly calling the function in the uh, in expression itself the timer function in turn is actually doing nothing if you see it says value of i'm sorry it should be what so it says value of var is this and it just returns the var so it's ideally if you see it is doing nothing and the compiler also sees it the same way so what if i if you know try to compile so this program i'm going to compile it and as you see um, um, i am just going to print this message and it, it goes to an infinite loop yeah you can see that that it's continuously going on updated the reason is that the compiler always sees the single value of variable and since it is a global variable its value is zero and so it never gets updated and this condition is always true so i did it speaking the compiler how it sees this message compiler tries to see this like this Compiler optimizes the code like this actually. So this expression is always true, and we get an infinite loop. But this is not. This might not be the intention of a programmer. He might, you know, want. Uh, he might think that this value is getting updated from somewhere else, and as soon as the value is, and is as soon as the value is um, more or equal to this value. <coughs> The print message should not be there. So, what I will do is I'll just put a volatile keyword here. So now what actually happens is now the compiler, even though the program is optimized, will always look for the updated value of this variable, and this variable might be getting updated from some kind of timer or some shared memory some input output port of a controller or something like that so 
as soon as you know um, uh, the volatile keyword is there the compiler cannot optimize this particular variable and even though the optimization is there for the entire program this variable will always get its value I think it will not work out here because I definitely do not have any hardware currently which is updating this so I think you get the same output here also yeah but definitely it works in uh, an embedded environment okay I have written another code for you people so we can also look into that So this is another code and uh, yeah so if you see here I have one local variable which is a constant and, and a pointer which is a pointer to an integer not to a constant integer I'm trying to assign the address of this local variable to the pointer before that I type cast it to an integer type and then I'm trying to you know um, print the initial value of it which is 10 and then I'm trying to uh, change the value at that address uh, which is now 100 uh, so definitely um, you know I'll just compile it uh, and let's see what happens uh, so definitely the now uh, I, I would also like to tell you that uh, currently the program is not optimized you can actually go here debug my C program properties and then um, to see optimizations and yes you can actually enable the optimization mean maximum full optimization or something like that but I have currently disabled it so definitely it, it will print the message 10 and 100 yeah it does so but if the let's say for an instance if the program is optimized I go here optimization and I will say full optimization okay there's there's some error I don't know but this optimization is not working for this well but yes in that case the pointer will not allow the, the compiler will not allow this particular pointer to change that address because in that case you are trying to change the address from some external source means you are not directly changing the value at local by assigning it to so some point but you are trying possible. so I can actually do like this if I do this way so if I do it this way definitely it should be possible that you can you know also use this statement ok so I think that's it I think this we could have we could have better understood this on an uh, you know uh, on an uh, embedded system device but unfortunately I don't have that and it was just a basic idea for the people who wanted to know and who were curious actually what volatile variable is thank you and for more such videos subscribe to my channel thanks